Welcome back to the episode of Generations Collide. In today's video, the team of WCW will take on the team of Golden Era. WCW are ranked 7th in the tournament. Golden Era are ranked 8th in the tournament. WCW have won 2 matches. Golden Era has won just 1. Hulk Hogan with a choke slam attempt on Hollywood Hogan. It's the battle of the Hogan's brother. The only team with Hogan's. Reversal. Big boot to the face and now Hollywood Hogan tried to go for the scoop slam. Got reversed and now Hulk Hogan is taking him to the corner it seemed like but he got reversed also. It has not been a great start for both men but Hollywood Hogan with a test press. Hulk Hogan has taken more damage. Big elbow to the head and a big kick to the face. Scott Sana reverses Hulk Hogan on the apron. Again whipping and gets reversed. Scott Sana was again very smart. He stopped. Hulk Hogan from whipping and now Hollywood Hogan with a leg drop attempt scoop slam first and then a leg drop which also gets reversed Hulk Hogan now has two and a half finishes he should have had like three I don't know how the calculation works he goes for the cover Hulk Hogan isn't saved by Dusty Rhodes he just kicks out on his own it has been a very weird match so far it happens when two of the weirdest wrestlers collide like Hulk Hogan is a weird wrestler in the game. He is really OP and really broken in a way. Now Kevin Nash is illegal. Big shoulder tackle. Hulk Hogan does have two and a half finishers. If he goes for one, it wouldn't help. But if he saves it for a super finisher, that would, have, that would be really good. And it can eliminate Kevin Nash. And that would be really good for him. Because Kevin Nash is the best wrestler in the team. Kevin Nash goes for a cover on Hulk Hogan who has a signature in such quick time and he wastes it. <laughs> Kevin Nash with a jackknife powerbomb attempt. I think he connects. Yes, he does connect. First finish on Hogan. He survives it. Kevin Nash goes for a cover. Howdy Ryder Piper breaks it up. Kevin Nash wasn't very pleased by that. He ran very slowly. Tried to close line him, but Roddy Piper just like he is the greatest heel of all time. He just oh, moves away. He doesn't care what Kevin Nash wants to do. And now the MVP of this team, the Golden Era team, is legal. So it's the battle of the MVPs. Roddy Piper with a very smart sleeper hold. Kevin Nash will break it with a jawbreaker. But it's a good start. Let's just hope Kevin Nash doesn't go for a finisher. But I think Piper reversed that one. Piper with a reversal. And now Piper will go for a finisher very quickly. Actually, Kevin Nash was quick on that occasion. Shot to the back. Looks like the kidneys. And now in the corner, tried to go for a punch. Misses. So he just changes his mind and tags in Hollywood Hogan. Who despite not have not being able to hit a single finisher in this match, still at full health. Powered up and just dropped by Hogan. Hogan was really strong. He is, he still really is like, he's one of the strongest wrestlers of all time, a choke slam from Hogan. And every single move he did, had him physics, he did that move three times. Like elbow drop, back break, all that stuff. I've seen his few matches, like he is a good worker, like, of the crowd, not a, that kind of a worker, like, beautiful looking reverses, beautiful looking moves. It's just like, he can work the crowd really well, that's why he was so popular back in the day. Piper gets reversed, now Hogan. Who has a signature doesn't go for it gets powers piper up for a power slam and i think he is going for a tag after this yes he is both men will tag out scott steiner will need to hit a finish in this match well hulk hogan with a big boot and now he has a super finisher goes for a cover the lighting on this arena is really good it doesn't look like look very good on from this perspective but scott steiner with a suplex kind of a thing gets reversed because it always always does i don't know what is there with this move it never connects i see connect like connected like once in five matches he tries to go for it every time every time he gets reversed that's the problem with this team if scott china would connect with his finisher he would that this team would have won one more match than they have already they would have been on the top four easily it's a, such a strong team to Rick Flair is the new addition to the team. I don't know who got replaced. Okay, Macho King got replaced. So the Golden Era team is also looking very, very strong. 
shoulder tackle. Hulk Hogan was uh, awkwardly dropped on the floor. That looked like a botch, and I love it because games should have like realistic looking botches, not glitches. I'm talking about botches. Hulk Hogan with a big knee. He is going to the middle rope. He's going for the super finisher. First super finish of the tournament connects in Scott Steiner. And it was going to be Hogan who did that. The man who is the most proficient with his finishes. Unlucky at times, but the most proficient either way. A super finish and uh, Scott Stein is going to be out in a few moments. He's lucky that he was saved by Hollywood Hogan and a big knee by Hulk Hogan. These two men have been fighting. And another knee from Hollywood. This is... And this has been an insane fight and I think Hollywood Hogan will go for the big boot. No, he's trying to charge up his finisher. Even if that gets reversed, he, will, he doesn't have a finisher. Booker T wanted to go for the cheap shot, gets tossed in. Hulk Hogan with a big boot, he should have charged up his finisher and then he would have had two finishes. But it's unlucky either way. Hulk Hogan kicks out, Ric Flair once again can't seem to save his partner. And uh, Hollywood Hogan, I think he wants to get a position for the leg drop. But since referee is busy counting out, uh, counting on Booker T, he can go for it. Now Hulk Hogan, who has hit the super finishes so far in this match, goes for Snake Eyes, very awkward looking Snake Eyes, and smashing the head of Hollywood Hogan. Hulk Hogan has had an upper hand on Hollywood Hogan in this match so far, minus that one big boot. It has been all Hulk Hogan. And now, uh, Hollywood Hogan no sells the move. He goes for the scoops and finally a finisher. It also gets the worst. third finisher reversed by Hulk Hogan. And it's going to be Hulk Hogan's chance to go for it. But instead, he goes for a headbutt. Hulk Hogan is very close to being eliminated. So, if he does eliminate Hollywood Hogan, that would be good. Like, he would take uh, both of his characters out of the match and it will be a, an equal match. Let's see what happens here. Choking him in the corner yet again. It's Hulk Hogan who is playing dirty. It should be Hollywood Hogan who should play dirty. But you'll never know what's hap what happens in these kind of matches. It's me. Like the movesets are not that well defined. Like minus the Undertaker, I don't see that many differences in moveset. Only Undertaker, you can see that there is a difference in moveset. Dusty Rhodes with a bionic elbows and eliminates Hollywood Hogan. That was the equalizer they needed. Dusty Rhodes with a quick finish as Kevin Nash is on the outside. I think he will be able to recover very quickly. Astana gets reversed. And the shoulder attack drops Scott Steiner. And now Booker T is going to get dropped with the Astana of the top row. Scott Steiner uses his added jaw for some reason. Dusty Rhodes with another reversal. He is going for a... For the bionic elbows, he is going for the bionic elbows. Scott Stein is meter is dancing and Kevin Nash has been eliminated. Wow, that was really impressive. And a baseball pitch from Dusty Rhodes. Tags in. Rick Flair, Golden Era has been decimating the team of WCW. We have been very impressive so far. But not this time around. Um, wrench from Rick Flair. Doesn't go for a finisher, he's just working the legs. Scott Steiner. He's driving it to the center of the ring. Ric Flair has a very quick signature too, so he is really OP. I'm still surprised why I haven't added him in this tournament so far. Ric Flair, again, working the arms of Scott Steiner. Is a Ric Flair technician? I think the person who created Ric Flair made him a technician. Figure 4 leg lock from Ric Flair. How much damage is Scott Steiner taking? It will depend on that. Booker T is going to save him. If Ric Flair goes for another one, that's going to be really bad. And he goes for it and he connects with it. Another fig four leg lock connects on Scott Steiner. This is going to eliminate him. I'm sure about that. And it's 1v4. Booker T will need to do a lot of work in this match. It has He has been super unlucky in this match. No one helped him in this match. Flap Jack from Booker T. Golden Era needed that equalizer in the form of uh, Ric Flair. That's why they weren't as good in this tournament. They needed Ric Flair. Another reversal. That was a book and attempt. And now Ric Flair with a whip and an arm drag. Uh, an arm drag actually. It's a power lot. 
DDT with the reversal on the on the corner. Working the arms of Ric Flair won't affect him at all because I don't think Booker T has like a finisher that affects the arms even. Kick to the back, Ric Flair is still at full health. Dusty Rhodes is still at full health. Full health. Hyper is still at full health. Ric Flair has a finisher and he doesn't go for it. He instead whips and goes for a double team attempt. I think it's a double team attempt. Nope. Capture, captured him with a punch. Another one from the behind. And now Ric Flair goes for a cover. He's just trying to play heel on Booker T at this point. He's taunting him. He is the true monster of this game. He is a community created character, so he might be a bit stronger than the most because of his moveset. It's very random and something he didn't do in real life. It's very possible. Core creators don't look at their movesets at a lot. Scissor, scissors kick, Tussy Rhodes wastes his iron jaw, and uh, Piper is going to save him. Tussy Rhodes finally has lost a bit of his health, gets swept into the corner. Booker T gets reversed. Thus he doesn't have a finisher and he misses Booker T with a book and kick. Now he will go for the head scissors kick. Shot to the gut. I think this might eliminate the Dusty Rhodes. No. No. Not that lucky. Rick Flair is going to save him this time. He is able to save his partner. Booker T is blank at, the, at this moment. At this point. A move after a finisher always gets reversed. Dusty Rhodes needs to tag out not fight him a lot. Discus punch to the face of Booker T tags in Piper. Piper has a signature and a finisher, both of which are very good. Bulldog and uh, Sleeper combo. Both moves are really good. Fireman's carry by Booker T on uh, Piper. I should just call him Piper. Body Piper is just way too long for me to say. I might need to make more mistakes. Booker T with an apron slam on Tassi Rhodes. Can Booker T do it? Very difficult. Even someone like Batista couldn't do it. I think Booker T is going for his signature. That's just his regular move. Really cool move for his regular move. We don't see that very often from, uh, from a wrestler this old. And now Piper, who is very smart, goes for a bulldog, his signature. And now he's going for a finisher on the floor. That knockout is on. If this is going to do a lot of damage, sleep a hole on Booker T. Does he tap out? No, he doesn't tap out actually. I think Piper is going to leave him alone at some point. No, actually. Booker T breaks it up. Piper has another finisher. A double count out would do Golden Era Team Wonders. And they will actually move very high up on the table, but it's Roddy Piper who is getting counted out here. Oh, that was very surprising. That's T Rose versus Booker T. Booker T needed that elimination. Plus, T Rose doesn't have a finisher. Booker T is very close to having a finisher. And suddenly, this match has changed on his head. Ric Flair still that good health, so it's still very possible that Booker T might not be able to do it. But does T Rose has taken so much damage? Al Kogan is just one or two big moves away from being eliminated. Like big, I mean. Heavy attacks from being eliminated. Ric Flair, who is the actual uh, dark horse of the team, he will do so much damage. That you won't be able to even understand what he did. He is going to do so much damage. I think Ric Flair tried to go for his signature and he got reversed. Booker T is going for a scissors kick. He also gets reversed and tripped down. And Ric Flair had the opportunity to go for the figure full leg lock. Doesn't go for it. This might be another count out. Nope. Like just when I said it. Pile driver gets reversed. Booker T is on fire so far in this match. This has been a valiant effort. Even though they don't win this match, it has been a valiant effort. Booker T with a finisher on Ric Flair. Ric Flair survives that one. Who's going to save Ric Flair? A bit too late. Ric Flair kicked out on his own merit. Booker T almost has a finisher. Takes him to the corner if he lands a few attacks. If he didn't, he would have, a, he would have had a finisher. I need to assign Ric Flair moves just like I did for Edge. Sorry. Dusty Rhodes 
is legal. He tried to go for the clothesline, gets stripped down. He is on the middle rope, leaned on the middle rope. And Booker T absolutely enjoyed that one. Book and uh, pitch to the face of Booker T. He almost has a finisher. The thing about the meat is that you get a signature meat on being hit. Well, you don't get a finisher meat on being hit. Oh, that was just a close line in the, to the corner. In the corner. And Booker T has been knocked out. It's cool to Nina absolutely decimate the team of WCW. They stood no chance. Hulk Hogan dominated Hollywood Hogan. And that started things. And the things started to go south for the team of WCW. As the team of Golden Era moves to the seventh of the table. Not a good position for them, but they can make a comeback. As I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a really good day.